Welcome back to Valkyrie Profile, where we finally get to play the game. Yeah, so last time we recruited Arngrim and Jolanda. We heard about their story and how they both died and how the Valkyrie has to recruit Ein Harriar in order for the upcoming Ragnarok. Interesting fun fact that we did not discuss last time. We were talking about some of the voice actors who you may sound it may sound familiar okay well Arngrim the voice actor for Arngrim and his deep manly voice including I want to say maybe I think it's three other characters in this game are all played by the same voice actor who also did the voice actor for Meowth on Pokemon you know that little cute talking ki uh, kitty cat and um, Yugi's uh, grandfather from Yu-Gi-Oh. So I thought that was really interesting. But guess what, guys? Guess guess what? That that person who, who who played those voices is a woman. <laughs> I'll just let that sink in for a minute. It's a woman. It's a it's a transgender woman called uh, Madeline Blaustein, which she has passed away at this at this point. She's no longer around, but. I found that so interesting. It's like, oh my gosh, really? So, yeah. That is that is really, really interesting. Anyway, we're finally going to be able to play now. We're going to go into Divine Item because I actually overlooked an item, which was... I believe it was... Let's see. Yeah, it was this one. Look, so, so I didn't actually see this one. This is the one that I, that I think I may have bought. And this one's actually a little stronger. This one has 100 attack. So... I'm going to go ahead and buy it. That's that. That is going to be for Ongrim. I'm going to go ahead and equip that on him. That's going to boost up his attack a little bit more, a little bit more. So anyway, so let's actually get into into the game now. So not only is this an RPG, but it is also a platformer. So when you're inside of the uh, dungeons, there are plat platform ele elements such as this. So you can bring out. These ice blocks, you can shoot them twice to uh, bring out ice. Shoot it a third time and it kind of disintegrates, but you can also... I can't really show it off there. We'll be able to see it soon enough, but... Let's see what Freya has to say. To fight the enemy, face your enemy and brandish a sword. Any contact means a fight, but you will know who will be first. Brandish sword with the X button. Yeah, so that is how we can end up attacking here. So, let me actually go back here first. So we have a locked gate. The iron bars are shut tight, tightly, so can't do anything about that. Also, I want to bring up the uh, map here. The maps are really interesting, as you can see. So... <laughs> take a look at our... Okay, so here's how we can kind of rotate it. So we can see the different elements here of how these maps work. You see like the um, floors in the back, you see these front facing rooms, and you can have ones that end up moving you forward. So it's like a three dimensional map, which can be a little bit hard to navigate and actually looking at it. It's like, okay, what, what, have, I, what have I missed here? Because, yeah, you know, we probably will be missing stuff. I do, I do have maps for everything. Well, most everything, I think, but yeah, we're, we're going to be able to see that. And there's our first enemy, which we'll see momentarily. Actually, here's our first enemy right here. Let's check out the contents of that bag. It's possible that there could be something usable inside. Open treasure chest. So facing the chest, directional button down and X. So what's interesting about this is that you have to be facing the treasure chest. You can be behind it and try to do the same thing and it will not open the treasure chest. You can also pick up the treasure chest. You can throw the treasure chest, which will break the item inside, which you never want to do. So I gotta make, I gotta make sure that I don't accidentally do that. So, but here's actually our first enemy that we're we're, we're going to be fighting. So, perform form the attack. So we get the first attack. To my side, my noble Ein Okay. No mercy. Okay. So here's our our enemies here. They're in the front. If they're in the rear, then we would not be able to actually attack them. But anyway. That 
Now Freya, Freya is our most powerful character. She's going to do a lot of damage. There we go. Taking them out. And we get some experience afterwards, and we didn't pick up any magic gems. Magic gems will also increase your the amount of experience that you get. So yeah, that was our first real official fight. But anyway, here here's the bag that we have to open now. And we got the Eye of Heaven, so let's actually see what that is. Okay. So the Eye of Heaven. A gem which enables the user to see areas of the current dungeon that they have not visited yet. Let's go ahead and use it. So it allows you to view areas of the current dungeon. So now, if we take a look at our map... Now we can see the entire map of this dungeon. So we can see the different ways. And not only that, this can make it a bit... Just because we can see the map here... Doesn't necessarily mean that we know exactly how to get to the area. So we have that one little block up there. So we can kind of assume how to get get back there like we like we did did with those, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that will be the be the way to get back. So yeah, we'll just have to see as as we go go along. To my side, my noble So I I love just clearing out the enemies, even if it is like pretty simple for the most part. There we go. We almost had a maxed out meter. If we maxed out our meter, we haven't actually seen it yet, but but we can do a special attack, and it's called Purify Weird Soul. And each character has one, and they're extremely powerful attacks. So we got a magic gem, which also increases our experience slightly. So we'll be able to see those Purified Weird, weird Souls soon enough. Anyway, let's continue to, to go along. Now, the platforming in this game, as I did mention, it is a bit tricky at times and we will see that momentarily it, it's really not it's really not meant to be like a platformer because some of it is a bit hard okay here we go we could we could actually i did freya's purified weird soul divine assault and hers is like the most powerful let's let's check it out ether strike Strike. Boom! 8,000 damage! To this little lonely skeleton, he's like, oh my gosh. So, we'll be seeing more of those once the meter in the bottom left fills up. Okay. Alright, let's continue through. I think we have something else here as well, some sort of bag. Iron barred key. Well, we did see that iron gate back back here, so let's let's head back. Let's get back there. So the first dungeon, this is the tutorial dungeon. It's gonna be the easiest. You know, it's not gonna I, I think this is it actually. Um, it's going to be the easiest dungeon, obviously. It's mostly just gonna guide you through the mechanics of the game. Lenneth, I think you can use that key here. Please take a look at those iron bars. Navigate, talk, and press the X button. Investigate, and talk, press the X button. So yeah, let's go up to this and press the button. There you go, we can open it. I think that's actually a cutscene that actually plays right there, but only in that one portion of the uh, game. Like, I don't know if you notice it, it's like that box area kind of changed colors a little bit and then you, sh you saw the door open like a video. Which is interesting, because I guess back then you couldn't actually notice because it was a much smaller screen. But anyway, so now that we're kind of through that part here, there is... Now we're going to be exploring down, we can explore this other part of the dungeon. We have an enemy right down here as well. When there are different levels, such as ladders and stairs, you can climb down or leap down. Leaping is a handy way to move quickly. 
Okay, going up or down a ladder, direction button up and down, leap down, direction button down and circle. Going up or down stairs, direction button slant, um, directional button slants up, a slant down. Okay. So I said down and circle? It just kind of does that, interesting. But anyway, let me actually show you some of this crystal stuff. So, we can actually pick up some of the crystals that we de destroyed here. Pick up little, little pieces of them. Just gotta get in front of them. Hang on a minute. We can also kind of blast back like, like that as I just, just did. We won't be able to get up there by jumping. Let's build some crystals into the wall and use them for footholds. Shoot crystals with the uh, B button. Something else I should mention about about the cr uh, crystals as well. You can when you when you destroy them, it turns into like a little plat a platform you can kind of kind of use. So let me actually demonstrate up here. So you see that it kind of turns into like a little floating type of plat platform. So there are a lot of mechanics, but as I said, the platforming is not the greatest. To be completely honest. Another easy fight here. No mercy. Yeah, no mer mercy. Yeah. Okay, here, here's the purified weird soul. Let's see Jolanda's. Firestorm. This is divine punishment. It shall be engraved upon your Okay, here's Valkyries. We could do multiple there because the meter filled back up. So we did a massive attack here. Okay, that one did, did, it did not fill up our meter, so we cannot see Arn, Arngrim's special attack. But maybe we'll be able to after we... Ah, this, this guy's gonna, gonna be dead. There's no point in overkilling this guy. Although he's gonna be, be, be dead soon. He's, he's like fainted right now. So Jolanda still cannot ca um, do anything because her CT meter, her charge time meter, is filled up a little bit at the bottom there, as we mentioned. So... And there's little orbs right there that he dropped that actually goes to Jolanda and it lowers her C C uh, CT. They were rather annoying. Yeah, they were rather annoying. Throwing skeletons. And it's like we got an item. We got the long sword. Hmm. Not sure if we already have that. We may already have that. Actually, let me let me take take a look. And that's going to be for Arngrim, I believe. Yeah, we already have that, and that it's not as strong, and it's a 5% chance of breaking, so... No, no use for it. Anyway, let's just continue along. If you shoot crystals at the enemy, you can contain their movement for a certain period of time. There are many other characteristics of crystals. You should experiment with them. Yes, there are. There are a lot of, uh different things when it comes to the crystals. Let's see, this looks like it is just a single room in here. So what she was saying here, let me show you. So I can shoot th that at him and it'll kind of freeze him for a little bit. So this like we, 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 we have a, p a pillar there that kind of blocks the path. To my side, my noble Ein Now we got these zombie men. There we go. Now let's see Arngrim special, a uh, weird soul, pure... Finishing strike. There you go. Oh! Nice. I love let's see Jolanda's now. I want to make a, like, a massive combo here. This guy's already like dead, but still. This is divine punishment! Alright, now, now I'm going to use... Freya. So, because she's the last one in the chain there, she's going to have the, the strongest one. So, it did 8,000 to the other guy. Let's see how much it does to this this uh, this this guy now. Not that he even has that much health, but still. 11,000 damage. To stand against a god, such is your reward. Yeah, so You missed. Yep, so that was my counter-attack right, right, right there that I just did with, with her. 
So the counterattack, you have to press the attack button of that character when the enemy misses you. That's how you perform a counterattack. But yeah, these guys are relatively easy. Okay, he's fainted. There we go. Easy enemies in the first dungeon, at least. I'm not going to come into any major, at least, difficult enemies. Oblivion awaits thee. Got some nice experience. Still no levels up, because I think it take, takes a bit to get a level up, so... Probably not going to be able to do too, too much when it comes to that. Okay, ve vegetable seed. I don't know if that has any sort of purpose at all, but... Okay, what, what was up, up, up here? Let's see. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll, I will be back here. I don't think there's anything up there. Ha! Now, of course, I don't have to fight all these enemies. I could probably just skip a few here and there. Hmm. These beasts will be a good test. Yeah! Alright, you're gonna die, man. Look at him, he's like cowering in fear. He knows what's about to happen. He, he knows. He knows. Ether strike. Destroyed, man. Let the worms feed on thy flesh. Yes. Feed on life flesh. Easy work for a god. Okay, great. So yeah, we may as well make as much use as we can with Freya because we're not we're not going to have her pass past this d uh, dungeon. So may as well make good use of, of her. Get that treasure chest. Can you take it? A trap has been set on the treasure chest. There are three main types of traps. They are different ways to avoid different types of traps. You can jump, crouch down, or leave. But which one is the best here? For the time being, I recommend leaving as quickly as possible. Okay. So. Use this guy as like a platform. Okay, hold on, hold on, there we go. Book of Everlasting Life, and then this one is probably the, uh, the trap. So, it exploded. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, oh darn it. To my side. Was not quick enough. So he may end up get getting the first attack. Yes, he is. Dude, you are fainted. There we go. And you're also dead. Oh, good. Keep attacking Freya because Freya is not able to do do anything. I mean, she she's just able to block everything because she is extremely powerful. There you go. Massive damage. She's probably like the second strongest. And then Arngrim is pretty strong, too. No hope of survival. We don't need to overkill him too much, but there you go. Easy work for a god. Nice. Okay, so since he's gone, I'll just create a magic crystal then and get the item. Okay, vet a vegetable seed. So let me see what that Book of Everlasting Life is. Actually, I do not need to need to look at the map. Let's take a look. Okay, so Book of Everlasting Life. A vulgar book written by a small foolish man. It has no value. All right. So, nothing we can really do with that right now, I guess. I guess we'll just hold on to it. There's multiple different ways we can go, it looks like. 
Another enemy here. To my side, my noble Einherjar. No mercy. These guys are, they're, they're not like super strong, but they are strong enough. It shall be engraved upon your and I got a treasure chest from him, which is, which is good. It is. It is indeed. His life is over, that is. Ah! Ooh, they're just jumping and attacking. Ah! Ah! This, this is sometimes why it's probably good to avoid the attacks. I mean, avoid the, um... Prepare to be avoid the enemies, because you don't have to fight every every single one, because it, 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 it's... You just want to get get damage, and you don't get too much experience to actually level up, but... Nice. Look at that. Look at that amazingness. Oh, yes, we just removed DK's Ding Dong. Yes, that's exactly what we just did. That's why he's so, he's so angry at us. Like, sorry, D DK. Actually, we're not sorry, because look at that those jump attacks that he ends up doing to us, you know? Get thee hence. Oblivion awaits thee. Hmm. Ah. Uh, okay. So let me see what else here. So... So, Jelanda, I, I don't... Yeah, this this would probably be kind of good here. So, she, she actually never used anything to upgrade her. Let's actually give her first aid. So, 15% chance of restoring DME when injury occurs. Amount restored depends upon skill level. Cannot cure self. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll give her that skill. So, she's able to heal other, other, other people. And then... I guess we can... She never gets, gets attacked. So, I don't know if I really need, need to do that. Maybe I'll increase her... Yeah. Eh. I, I don't have anything else, really, so... I'll just save up her points for, for now. Let me see if anyone else has any points. No, everyone else. So basically, if I go into skills for Jelanda... Let's set up her skills. We can put first aid there. Also, Freya has first aid, although I don't think she's ever cast it. Does not appear that as she has, but... Now they both have first aid, so there's a 15% chance they're able to... Cast first aid, and it does not use your items, it's just a sp spell that is automatically used. I think we can topple this pillar, Lenneth. Go ahead and try. Ha! Ha! So we get event experience so what event experience is it, it is well I, I think she's going to explain it here actually you can also gain experience points from special actions that do not occur in the course of battle those experience points can be saved up in the experience orb and can be freely given out to any of your of the heroes open camp menu experience orb select party and camp menu so basically what this is you want to go to a party and we want to go to Experience Orb. So we have 500 experience points. So we could literally distribute these among our party here. So we can give them some experience to level them up. So she has 256 left to level up. She has 3,200 left. 256 and 256. So looks like they're, they're going to get a, le a level up probably after the next battle or two. Depending on, you know, what we end up getting. So I'm not going to, to do anything about that. Because, um, we, we just want to save it up for something that is more important. So, we're just going to save up the event experience. Ha! Like, they may get a level up here after this battle. To my side, my noble Against these darn skeleton men.
Okay, my attack was was not the best there because it did not actually kill him, but there we go. He's dead now. That's right, keep attacking Freya. Nice. Okay, let's see if they get a level up. Probably not. It's probably going to be the battle after this. And then we can, we can use some more points. Ooh, close. Very, very close. Okay, so... Looks like there are multiple different ways to go here now. So we we, we knocked down that, that, that pillar up there before. Uh oh, I did not, not attack him. So, they may get to attack first, let's see. Oh, three of these guys. These beasts will be a good test. Ooh. Okay, great. There you go. First aid, finally. Do a little bit of- oh, she's got some first aid too. Great. Okay, so she just got healed by, by 60. Which is- which is good. So yeah, that is completely just random and automatic. It is 15% chance of that happening. So I'm glad that they ended up doing it. Oh look, she did it again. Nice. Okay. So this will get us to level up, which means we're going to get some more skill points to be able to use to level up our characters. They all got to level up. Nice. And we removed all of D DK's ding-dongs right there. Every single one. Every single one. Okay, so... I guess I'll get everyone to, uh, to uh, use first... To, uh, half... half have first aid. That can that can be pretty handy. But I think probably one of one of the best skills I think is this one. Fight increases your strength, intelligence, and agility and dexterity. So I'll do that. And then I think another one is survival, which increases your health by by two hundred. So I can almost do that. I'll do fight again. Those would be it. Be be the ones that I'll mostly focus on there. Okay. And then Arngrim as well. He need, okay, he already has first aid now. And then I will increase his strength here. As well as his survival capability a little bit. Okay. And then for Jelanda, she's going to have... she That would not bene benefit her the most. I would imagine probably the best thing is ju just to in increase this a little bit. Increase her ability to heal. That would be really, really handy. Um, I guess also increase her... Yeah, let's go ahead and increase some of these two, I guess. Give give her a little bit of agility and intelligence. Don't, don't really need to increase her health. That's really not the um, most important thing, I guess, for right now. Let's just give her a little bit of all of, all of these. Knowledge of monsters, undead... I don't really know what that does. I don't know if that's even worth it. For right now, at least, I'm just going to put more into that first aid. Okay, and then I guess I'll give her... I guess I'll give, I give her the fight ability. Not that she need, needs that even, but... Eh, I'll, just, I'll just distribute it a little bit. Okay, let's head back here. Darn it, I was just about to move. I was just about to move. Okay, so they attacked me from the back, which means they, they he gets the first attack. Which, fortunately, he's he's pretty weak. So, 154 now, be, because her her first state is le leveled up quite a, quite a bit. There we go. 
One day I must face Brahms. One day she must face Brahms, huh? Who might that be? Okay, so one thing I did forget to do. I did forget to equip the skills. We have to equip the the, uh, the first aid skills. As well as Arngrim as well. So they all have first aid. Not that that skill is going to stay forever, but for the time being it's going to stay until we get something better. To my side, my noble Einherjar. These beasts are an offense to me. Still can't kill him right away. Upon your soul. Divine assault. Nibelung Balesti. Dare you destroy that fool? Is it over? Nope, it is. It actually his life is over. His life is no more. Weak. Nice. They're all using first aid. Heal each other. Yes. That's what we love to see. Just have them all heal each other. Without having to use any items. Their souls have been released. We have no reason to remain here. Okay, so this room is actually special. Let's just keep on climbing up. This is a very, very tall room. There we go. Finally. Finally made it. Okay. Nightshade. Forged gem. Savory. Angel Curio. Hmm. Let's take a look. Okay, so I think I do have these sorted by newest. Is that correct? Sort by newest items first. Okay. Savory herb which gives off refreshing smell. Has the power to purify a user's body. Increases CP by 20. Herb, um... Use in magic uh, ceremonies. Okay, so I think... Fireland. That is for Jelanda. I don't think she has that skill. Let's take take a look. So, actually, wait. It would be under. No, hang on a minute. That would be under her status, I believe, right? Okay, so she has Firestorm. She does not have Fireland. So let's actually teach that to her. I don't know when I when I picked. Did I just pick this one up? I may have. I may I may have. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Anyway. So now that she has that, I believe I don't think we need to equip it. I think that is just magic that, that she's able to use. So yeah, we haven't actually used magic yet. That we, we should use that in the next battle if there's a lot of enemies. Okay. The next battle that we get in, if there's like three enemies, that'd be perfect to check out some, uh, some of our magic abilities. Okay. Ooh, hang on a minute. Darn it. Delayed reaction. To my side, my noble Einherjar. Okay, yep, there are three en en uh, enemies here. Perfect. Okay, so let's actually head into magic. And she's gonna... Okay, so she's not ready yet. She's not ready yet. I okay, so... I think I'm just going to end my turn because I want her to be ready so I can use the um, use her magic attack. I want to see what th what that does. Yep, she missed. He missed. Yep, he he missed as well. Okay. Okay, so she is now ready to use her magic. Okay. So here's the magic she can use. She can use Firestorm, Heal, and then Fire Lance, which is the one that we just learned. So, the range is all units, all units, and then s a single unit. So we can actually use her to actually heal 80% of our health, which is amazing. This one creates a fire explosion which hurts, hurls your foes into the air, and then fire lands the spell which fires a searing bolt of flame at your foe. A maximum of four can be shot depending on magic level. 
So let's just use this one because it attacks all the units. Nice. Yeah, we're going to be making good use of her, her magic abilities. Nice, all using first aid, heal each other, yes. Nice. You have served me well, my Iron Harrior. There we go. They have served you well, haven't they? Okay. So this may be a little tricky, but we have to get up here. Okay, no, we actually got it. Okay, darn. Okay, so we open the chest, then we just gotta pick it up because it exploded and I fell down into the spikes. Shoot. Darn it! Should not have run. Hey, come on, little magic, magic boot. There you go. Yeah, that's what makes this a bit challenging, because it's platforming. Elemental Scepter. Well, I think I know who that is for. I think we know who that is for. Okay, so that increases her magic tremendously. Tremendously. Let's say, but I say wand imbues with the power of elements 50% chance of breaking. Allows weirder to perform great magic, but it cannot long endure the power it wields. Well, I guess I'll I'll quip her with it. If it breaks, it breaks. Other otherwise. Oh well. You know. Let's see if it breaks at all. Let's see how much damage it ends up doing. Massive damage. Like, she can almost kill him. Really easily. Nice. Look, look, look at these battles just kind of flying by now because of how strong my characters are. Look, he's fainted now. They didn't even get a chance. They did not even get a chance at all. They were no match for us. Very good. Okay, let's see our map. So we have that one room that we did not go into fully, if you remember where the pillar was. I destroyed the pillar, but I didn't actually go into that room. So I'll be back there. I'll be back uh, back there for that room. Just not right right now. Ha! Another enemy. To my side, my noble Ein Harriard. These beasts are an offense to me. Yeah! You freaking idiot. Look at this freaking idiot. Ooh, he actually blocked that. You see that, Seffel? He actually blocked that, that second attack. He doesn't stand a chance, though. That was too easy. What's next? Remember now, that is the manly voice who's played by a woman. <laughs> Fascinating, right? Fox glove. Then fire lance. Did we just get that? This is the book of spells. Book of Spells? Yes. It's a book written about research done on certain magic spells. You can learn new spells by reading this book. In this world, there are many books can be found where ways of fighting and other things are described in addition to books about magic. 
From those writings, you can acquire knowledge on many matters that you could not have obtained otherwise from experiences on the battlefield. Magic and skills are acquired when you use certain items. A skill is a single item that can be acquired by anyone. Magic, however, is a single item that can be acquired by, on by one person only. So, yes, let me, um, again, I'm always bringing up that darn map. So, we, we got the, uh, the Firelands. She already has it, which means we can save it for another character that we may end up getting. If overused, it can be poisonous, so... Yeah, we have no use for any of that other stuff. Anyway. Let's continue on. Okay, yeah, it looks like that was actually it here. Take a look at our map. Okay. So now we're actually going to go back to that room where the pillar was. So it looks like we're, we've explored the, uh, the rest of this uh, area. You know what? I'm about to just... There we go. <laughs> just, just avoid that, 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 that darn thing. Okay, head back to where, to where the pillar was, which I believe, was it here? I believe it, it may have, may have been up here. Yes, it was. So that pillar was actually blocking our path above. Oh, darn. Can I actually jump up? It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't look like I can really jump up there. It's a bit difficult, it looks like. Is there another way? Yes, there is. Okay. Anyway, up here, I don't think there was any anything up here. I think it was, this was just, yeah, blank. Okay, so this is where the, the pillar was destroyed. Okay. So there's something else up up here that's that that's to make make sure that that we go up here. Darn. Okay, it exploded on me. Let's see what we got. Hopefully it's something good. Vegetable seed and no. But not only that, there's actually something over to the left there. So I think... I think what we can do... Okay, no, that did not quite work out. Let me see how good, good my timing is for this. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so we kind of got blasted over here. Ah, darn, okay. Gotta go back. Should have put a platform up there. I had the feeling it was gonna explode. Treasure search. Okay, this is actually really, really good. So let's actually equip this. We can only equip it to Valkyrie, I believe, so... I'm gonna put it on position three. So what this is, is ring that warns wearers of presence of treasure. When equipped, a blue mark will appear. Only Valkyrie can equip it, so... Go ahead and equip it. It doesn't have any other abilities or anything. But basically what this does is... When there's treasure nearby... We will, we will see a little... Orb floating around Valkyrie. Sir, I don't think you're even worth worth my time. Unless my characters are about to get a level up, are they? And no, they, they are quite a bit away. So, I don't think he's even worth worth my time at all. Just gonna avoid him. So, do you see the little orb floating around her? That indicates that there's a treasure. Lapis Lazuli, once I pick it up, then it fades away. So really handy to be able to figure out. Increases MP by 200, okay. Oh, darn it, I should have froze him. I didn't realize he was going to turn around so soon. It's alright, we'll just take take care of these darn darn fools. They, they are very easy.
You got nothing, man. You got nothing. You can't do nothing. You can't say nothing. You can't see nothing. Well, he's technically already dead because he's like a skeleton guy. What's his name? A, a ghast? Yeah, he's he's definitely dead. You're a dead fool. You're a dead fool. Now you're a super dead dead fool. Get thee hence. Oblivion awaits thee. Yeah, so it's going to take a long time to actually get a level up from how much experience that we have. So we got 352, so that would take us, I guess, 10 battles. So, really it's not that important to battle every single enemy. I'll try to battle as much as I possibly can, but... Okay. There we go. Use that as like a, plat a platform. Darn it. I wanted to freeze him. Okay, well, here's another battle. Get a little bit more experience. No quarter. Yeah, we really need Jolanda's magic to finish that guy off. He, he, Jolanda is so powerful. Her magic is amazing. 11? Is that all? Just 11, guys? Gosh. No, we didn't. Okay. So I don't think that there's anything down here because otherwise our treasure thing would, would be going off. So that's just an enemy. Yeah, he just falls back down to this first floor here. So I'm not going to bother fighting him. And there's no treasure around or else we would have an orb going around us. So I'm just going to con continue on as normal. And it looks like we are at the end of the dungeon. Let's take a look. So yes. We've explored every single room here, and here's a save point before we enter the final room. Now, what's always at the end of the dungeon? We always know what is at the end of the dungeon. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to... Does anyone need health? I guess Ongrim does. He's the furthest behind. So I should probably heal him. So that would be the elixirs. Yeah. I think everyone else is fine. Fre Freya, I'm not wor worried about. I don't think... We can really do anything with, with Freya any anyway. Anyway, let's go ahead and save and then head through this last door. Okay. Alright, let's go. Here they come! Why do you disturb me? It is my task to hunt those creatures who prey upon the living. Abomination, you have no place in this world. Hunt, you say? You amuse me. Very well then. Let us see if you have the strength to match your boastful words. I will not participate in the battle. Leneth, let me witness your power. Use this sword. It will allow you to do triple combo attack. Rider pal Palash. Okay, so... Boss time. Come to me, Dark Warriors. Battle awaits us. So we have two dragons. Dragon servants, they're masters of defense. We need to we need to break through their guard with combination attacks. Guard crush breaks through perfect guards by doing a combo attack, but it's not a guarantee. So be careful not to waste too much energy. So now, as you can see by uh, Valkyrie's uh, action, she has three bars now. So she's able to perform three attacks. So, we cannot attack any enemy in the in the rear, so let's, I guess, focus on this guy. There you go, guard, 
Guard crush. Okay, so we actually killed him. Perfect. Okay, so he has Fire Lance, which is what Jelanda has as well, so... Okay, so both of his servants are, are dead. He did not actually perform an attack because she has more, more than one attack. Pretty easy first boss fight, obviously. Got some extra cr crystals from that. Shadow Servant. Alright, that did a decent amount of damage. Another Shadow Servant. Eleven. She does not- I don't think she even really needs any- any- any health, but okay. Nice, I got some treasure from- uh, from him. Yes, there you go, 154 health. Healed. You know what? Just because... We're gonna finish him off with the- actually, he's already dead. He's, he's, he's already dead, but we're gonna just maximize his damage. There you go. Destroy that darn vampire. Nothing like Freya's attack, though. Okay, so he's dead. Too much experience that we get. They were rather annoying. 1100, nice. And we got some magic uh, gems as well, which increases our... Mount too. And we also get Aqua Viate. Let's actually see what that uh, that is first. Okay, so potion supposedly created by a wise sage. However, this wise sage was actually an imposter, and the potion has no effect. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so this is another very important thing here. So I. One thing that I want you to notice within here is, well, first of all, I'm actually going to unequip Valkyrie with 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 this. This is going to come. This this is going to make make sense in just a moment. So this item that we've had equipped, this does uh, darkness damage minus fifty percent. Now that sounds good and everything, but I'm actually going to remove it. And the reason is, if you look at our evaluation at the very bottom there, our evaluation is 100. This is our, this is Valkyrie's, I guess, evaluation, you know, that, that she's being judged by Freya and Odin and everything. And this will fluctuate. The most it can be is 100. You cannot go above 100. 100 is the max. You can have it. And when you get too low, Freya will come in. And she will say, you know, you're you're not following orders, you're not doing things correctly, and you can end up, you know, messing some things up if you get it too low. However, um, we really don't have to worry about that too much because, for the most part, when you send, um, well, we we will see it in just a moment. We have to send units. At, at the end of each chapter, that we, we were still in, in, in chapter zero, but we had to send units up at the end of each chapter to Odin and, and, and Valhalla to in order to, to fight in the Ragnarok. And doing so increases our evaluation. And the reason why I'm bringing up the evaluation... So there was a special little jingle there, because whenever you defeat a boss, you get special treasure chests. This is a sealed box, but here is what, what this is. This caution. This item is an artifact. All artifacts are the rightful property of Lord Odin. Return it, or evaluation level will drop. We offer up the artifact to Lord Odin. I will not be offering up any artifacts, because you can keep all the artifacts and still maintain good evaluation by sending people up to Valhalla and doing other things, which will, you know, fluctuate your evaluation. So...
I would not be. You gain the artifact and your valuation level minus five. And I also earned 100 event experience. Also, also got the Jeweled Blade Grims, uh, Grimrist. And again, I'm not going to send it to, to Odin. I'm going to keep him for myself. And we got 3,000 event experience. So now if we take a look at our evaluation, it is now 90. But we got to keep, keep, uh, keep these items. Newest items first, so... Okay, so maybe they don't actually... Okay, here they are. So, here's the item here. So, it is quite powerful. I can probably equip that. And here's an artifact here of the sealed box. Small mysterious sealed box. Impossible to open. It contains... A content remains a mystery. So, I don't think we can really do anything in that. We can probably just sell that as well. I guess maybe we can see if... Arngrim can equip the new sword. Let's see. No, he cannot actually equip the new sword. wonder who can equip it. I don't know. I'm not going to wor worry about that just yet. But the other thing I wanted to mention, and I kind of gr grouped this in, but it is a different thing. So, um, for the Valkyrie here... Party, actually. Okay. No, it's not party. It's status. There we go. <laughs> Finally. So, her seal level. Her seal level is 98. So, the ring that I unequipped... From her, at the end of each chapter, it will. If you have it equipped, it you don't lose two evaluation. Otherwise, you will lose two of not, not not evaluation. You will lose two seal value, and these are two separate values. So the seal value is actually very important in order to get the best ending in the game. We have to get her seal value under 38 by chapter seven. So I'm going to unequip that ring so we can start bringing down her seal value. Her seal value is not going to matter when it comes to Freya's evaluation. You know, they're not going to be all upset or anything, you know? Like, oh, you, you know, your, your seal value is too low. You know, you have to get that back up. No, that, 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 that is only for the evaluation. So they are two different stats, but they're also two very important stats. You want to keep your evaluation higher. And you want to keep keep your seal lower. And the seal value is... It goes up and down when you recruit people, when you visit other places, when you see certain events. It's a variety of different different ways of how, how you end up... Uh, you know, uh, having a variety of different seal value here and here and there. So, anyway. Let's see where we end up wanting to go. So I think I want to go... This is like kind of diff difficult here. But I think... Can I actually get up from here? Yeah, we have to actually walk, walk out of here, which kind of sucks, but... Kinda sucks. Yeah, we go. Okay. Although it doesn't seem to be too 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 far, so we made it back. Now something else. Let's see. I don't. Freya, did I equip anything on on you? I don't know. I should probably remove all of all of her stuff. Cause maybe I want to keep that because she she won't be in 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 our party any any anymore. We shall not meet for some time. Just a moment. When the Unharrier have been trained, they are sent to Asgard. At the point, you will have finished the first cycle of your appointed task. I understand. The time you are allowed is not a limitless, Lenneth. Just say time passes on the earth below. Time in Asgard also grinds steadily onward. At set intervals, I will undertake to inform you of events taking place in Asgard. Thank you. I understand. Game time is stored as chapters and periods. Periods are the time spent in towns or dungeons. 
The chapter is over when the passage of a set number of periods, after which there, there will be a report from Freya. The game is comprised of eight chapters. The final battle, Ragnarok, will commence when there are no more periods remaining until the end of the world. So be forewarned. I have one more word for you. That warrior. I don't think he's suited to become a hero. You mean Angrim? Yes. Of course, he has brawn enough, but does he have what it takes inside? The stuff makes up and on, on Harriar is much more than strength alone. Good luck. Taking leave of the Unharriar is but a temporary measure. Oh, and Leneth? you don't understand the plan for the training of the Unharriar, or for the battle, then ask him or her your questions. Him slash her. We have a, a, a um, gender fluid fairy here. Well then, we will meet at Ragnarok. Or maybe a bi-gender fairy. Uh, fairy. Okay, for, for some, I'm going to try a uh, uh, save here. So this is where things can get very confusing. So if you didn't, did not understand what, what she said at all about chapters and periods, because we're in chapter zero, we're about to enter the, our, our first chapter. Let's talk to the fairy to understand a little bit more. Hey, I will remain here until then, Leneth, as a token of my esteem. The abilities of the Anheriar and Asgard are not determined by strength alone, and Anheriar's personality has a major impact on the outcome. Physical strength alone is not enough. You must send to Asgard only those warriors who have undergone personal growth. Well, of course, the point is, how much? And Anheriar's activities in Asgard are also dependent on the warrior's armament. It's very different. Even if you make a mistake, don't send someone who is lightly armed. Don't think that just because Asgard is the world of the gods that there would be any need for armaments. Do you understand me? Well then, good luck. Lannis, you must be tired. Is there something you wish to talk about? So, so this is, I believe, what we just heard here. There doesn't seem to be anyone with the abilities that is needed. Okay, so this is... At the end of each chapter, uh, Freya will give you s uh, s stats and traits that your Einherjar needs in order for you to send up. So this is where... Um, right now, she hasn't given us any specification as to what, what she needs. Pretty much the first person that, that you send up... It, there are no major specifications. Is there something else we should, we, should, we should talk about? No problem. Necessary hero value is 40. So this is basically the main thing that we have to do. So when we send up someone, they have to be at least level 40 hero value. So let me actually look in here and let me show you what, what that, is, that stat is. So we have seen this stat. Um, Valkyrie is not going to have it, but Arngrim has it and Jelanda has it. So right now they have negative 99 and then negative 39. So we have to bring them to positive 40 if we want to send them up to Asgard. These two characters I will not be sending up to Asgard. There's going to be other characters we will be recruiting in order to actually send up. Um, but if I look, is it? No, it's not here. Um, <clears throat> Where is it exactly? Oh, I, it's under... It's under skill. Okay. So how we would increase those would be traits. These are the traits that will increase our hero value. And it also uses capacity points. There's no point in using capacity points when I'm going to keep, keep this character and I'd rather use skills. If I'm going to learn skills, that's going to occupy my, you know, Capacity points if instead, you know, I want to upgrade her, you know, naivety or her optimistic. That'll increase her character's hero value in order to meet the requirements to send up to Asgard. So that's the only requirement um, Freya has at the moment, just 40. But in the future, she will require either perhaps she wants a magic user or a warrior 
or perhaps someone with certain skills. Like maybe maybe she wants a warrior with a level 60 hero value who has a leadership skill or a march skill or, or a formation skill or, you know, some of these other skills. So you really need to fulfill her requirements, which can be quite tricky and challenging as we go along. So, yeah, we're going to have to pay very close attention to what she has to say. Now, here's some things about battle as well. I, we kind of already went, went through this, so... Weapons and normal attack. Character has different weapons. And, you know, talked about most weapons are capable of one to three normal attacks. You can use A alone, A plus C, B, B plus C. There are basically two types of weapons. Strength weapons and high hit rate weapons. Strength weapons are powerful. Uh, only capable of a few attacks, while weapons who have a high hit rate are capable of multiple attacks. So yeah, I don't need to read through all this because we already do know quite a bit about the battle system, but... Okay, to find out how many times you can use the weapon, that's right, yeah, we can sell that as well. Let's see what else she has to say. So, special attacks, we already kind of know, know about that. C a CT, th that is our charge meter. Combo attacks, let's see if she has anything different about, about that. When the enemy is hurt, it's temporary defenseless. If you attack an enemy in this condition, your attack will always land a hit. The hit of, con of continuous hit is called a combo. So yeah, that's when we attack an enemy and it kind of falls down and we continuously attack it. So after the first attack scores a hit, all sub subsequent attacks are, are guaranteed a score hit. Special attack uh, in increases, and there we go. Reaches 100%, we can do the special attacks. Okay, let's see what else. Um, the order of normal attacks. I don't know what that means exactly, but I don't think that really... Let's see what she has to say. You can choose the order in which you use normal attacks, go to the camp screen and make those decisions. Think about how you want to conduct a combination attack. You can choose the order in which you use your normal attacks. I'm not entirely sure what that means. You can choose the order of, of the normal attacks, but... Okay, about the power of special attacks, magic crystals, and purple gems. We saw a little bit of this. When you attack a score a hit, two types of gems can appear, depending on your circumstances. The first is a blue gem called a magic crystal. When you score a hit on the enemy in midair, you will receive one, and your experience points will be re revised upwards. You will get a 5% bonus for each one, and they're, so they're great. If you collect 20, your experience points will double. So yes, if we attack a lot and do a lot of amazing combos and attack enemies when they're up in the air, then we can get a lot of crystals and gems and maximize the amount of experience that we're going to get. Second type type is purple and it's called the purple gem. You get this when, when your attack scores a hit on the enemy on the ground. This gem restores CT once. So yes, we talked about those, about the CT uh, charge in order to use those to lower down, like, Jolanda's charge time to, to use her special attacks. Over attacks... We already know that, you know, an over attack there. I think you get extra... I don't... Do you... I think you do do get extra stuff. In other words, you are overdoing it. Continuing to attack a dead enemy is a waste of time and energy. Okay. Of course, there are some pluses in attacking, even though stamina is zero, so... Yeah, you don't, we don't really have to over-attack, because obviously it's not going to do, do anything. Combo Guard. Let's see what this is. It is the first attack... If the first attack is countered, the second hit will always be countered when you go for a combo ti a timing. This is called Combo Guard, and a Combo Guard warning will appear on, on the screen. So that is when the enemy will, will guard. If you delay your timing... If, if you delay your timing in pushing the button, they are no longer have... You will no longer have combo hits, but when the combo guard would not go into effect. So, okay. It is essential that your first hit lands. So yeah, that is that is when, when the enemy is blocking. Anything else about increases in special attack gauge, special attack link, and then fighting methods. Okay, this is the last thing. You see, basically there are three attack methods depending on your purpose. They're based on the elements listed above. The first is fighting to defend an enemy, to, to, to defeat an enemy. The special attack is at the core of your offense. 
Since the damage inflicted by the special attack depends on the number of hits, you can see that character with high attack strength should be positioned at the end of the combination. So yes, enemies that, I mean, uh, characters that can perform a massive, you know, hit, they can go at the end so they have a bigger combo so they can do, do more. You might think I'm exaggerating, but comparing the damage inflicted by a normal attack looks like a miscalculated next to the damage inflicted by a special attack. The second way of fighting is to build up experience points. If you don't use your head, you will become more skilled. So basically, you want to build up hit numbers using the characters that have high hit rates while scoring mid-air combos. The question that becomes one of how to go about quickly building up hit numbers. Because you can't get magic crystals or purple gems with special attacks. Hmm. Then the third way is to restore CT. While your attack should be aimed at taking the enemy out, have you sensed that timing is a bit on the on the tricky side? Ideally you want you would think that you would parcel out purple gems to restore CT while continuing a special attack, and then you could use the special attack all the time. But if you're too quick, then you could hit in mid-air and so yes, it, it is a lot about the, the, uh, the timing of your attack. So you want to be able to time it, you know, when they're in the air so you can, so you can get crystals and if they're on the ground to char charge your CT. So there's a lot of uh, things there when it comes to the battle system. But anyway, we are out of here. So now we are officially in chapter one. And as you can see, we have period 0 out of 24. So chapter 1 has 24 periods. And basically, everything that we do in the stage... Hang on a minute. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that amazingness. Look how she moves, but no. This is, how, this is how you officially move. So here's the place that we just went. So if we were to, were to go back there, it would cost us two, two periods. So you could literally just waste your time going to various areas and not actually complete what you actually need need to complete here. And as I, as I mentioned, at the end, there are multiple things you have to do in order to complete a, a period. Basically, we have to use the spiritual concentration. And we will do that in just a moment because spiritual concentration allows you to see what your next objective is. So you get an idea as to where, where to go and using spiritual concentration uses two of your periods. So if, if, if chapter one has maybe five levels we, that we have to go to, five areas, then it would use up 10 periods. So almost half of our periods are used up for, you know, spiritual concentration. And then we have to factor in, you know, going, going to a town usually costs one period, going to a dungeon costs two periods, so we don't want to waste our time going in and out of places. We want to do spiritual concentration, go to the area, and do what we need to do, and then not have to go back to that to that area if 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 we can. Um, but what we can actually do. I'm actually going to save it first because I'm going to show you the worst ending in the game. Yes, we can actually get the worst ending in the game right now, and I'm going to show that to you because it is. Be a C ending, and basically all it involves us to do is just literally just waste away our time. So, so when we go into our menu here, if we press start, we have time to rest. We can literally just uh, says one period recover only DME, two periods recover DME and all status, but disabled, and then three periods is a complete recovery. So when you rest using your your period, you can actually increase some of your uh, stats here, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Instead, of, we're just going to go ahead and, uh, you know, skip ahead the entire chapter. The goddess Freya has summoned you. The chapter is concluded. Beginning sacred face. So literally chapter one, it, it's, it, it came and it's gone. It's done. So now we're going to see what ends up happening during this, this sacred phase. So what actually happened? Now we will see this again. 
We would technically see this again when we actually legit complete the first chapter, but... Our current situation is as follows. But now that we didn't do anything, things may not go too well with the, with the war. Asgard war status. So this is what happens at, at the end of each chapter. So we are the Asir army, and then we're up against the v a Veneer army, and then we have other forces. So right now we are outnumbered. And it looks like we lost a unit and other forces have gained a unit. So things are not looking good for us. Our current situation is... If things do not improve, I am afraid we are doomed. Lenneth, about your performance. I know my 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 performance was I just took a nap all day because I'm 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 lady I'm lazy. I'm trying to get unemployment here. I can't get a job. Come on now. You must try harder. These are all the materialized points I can grant you at this time. So at the end of each chapter, you get uh, materialized points, which is essentially your currency, your uh, money. And here's where she's going to request the. We need more warriors. She's. This is where she's going to request the next Ein Harrier to send up. So as you can see, the hero level is 50, and then this is what she wants. She wants a warrior. She has she wants those skills. But again, we're not going to do anything. We don't care about you, Freya. We're just going to just speed through this entire game and get the C ending right away. A warrior with good battle skills. We need a warrior skilled in battle tactics. No, you don't. Someone with a good knowledge of artifacts. Don't you understand the reason why Lenneth? Woke up. She woke up to sabotage you and Odin. Very well. Good fortune. I expect mighty deeds. Too bad. Too bad. Okay, so now we are officially in chap chapter two. Just like that. Ah. Uh, well. Actually, I did not mean mean to do do this, but let's just pretend that we don't actually see this or hear this at all. We're just going to pretend. We're just not going to listen to the spiritual concentration because I did not mean to do it. I did not mean to do, uh, do it at all. But yeah, it kind of gives us a hint as to where to go for this chapter. But we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it at all because do we really care about Freya and Odin? We really don't. So we're just going to skip them. So yeah, that's how a spiritual concentration works. It just shows us where to go. But uh, sorry, guys. Time to go back on unemployment. So as you can see, our evaluation dropped tremendously. It is now 63. But now, now that we we have literally uh, gone, com completed chapter 2, <laughs> our evaluation is going to plummet even more. And that's how you get the C ending. Okay, there you go. It has been a long time. Actually, I just saw you, but okay. Situation is as follows. Then again, I was probably sleeping for a little bit, so... Yeah. Let's see how bad the war is. Ooh, Lenneth is sabotaging you. Look at that. Our current situation is, if things do not improve, I am afraid we are doomed. Lenneth. About your the situation is grim. Are you truly doing your best? Eh, I'm doing my best at sleeping, yes. These are all the materialized points I can grant you at the Lenin, I have a request. Okay, here, here's her request. Send us someone who can strike from a disc. We need an Einherjar who can gather intelligence. So yes, yeah, she wants a lot of demands, and as you can see, her demands increase. Guide your hand. I pray for your good fortune. They increase as the chapters go on. But do we really care about her demands in any sort of way? Eh, we, we really don't because, yeah. We're going back to sleep. Ah, another chapter down. Let's see how mad she is now. It has been a long time. Our current situation is as far... Let's see. Let's see how bad you guys are during during the war. Oh no! Your army is being decimated. Whatever shall you do? The situation is, if things do not improve, I am afraid. Lenneth, about your- I am bitterly disappointed with you. There she goes. These are all the material- She's disappointed. It's like, woman. Lenneth, 
I'm waiting for my unemployment check to come in the mail. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. If I'm either you or Odin. I'm just going to sit here until you give that to me. Actually, she kind of is. She's giving me materialized points, which is, you know, Lenneth's, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, her uh, <laughs> unemployment. Good fortune. I know that you can do it. Really? I can do it? Oh, okay, thank you. So yeah, this is... It's very unlikely you're ever going to get this ending because normally... I mean, look at our evaluation. It's bad. It's really, really bad. Now, I think Freya may say something about our evaluation being extremely low if we enter a dungeon and then we leave. So let's just enter the dungeon that we've already kind of been in, head back out, and see if she says something to us. What is the meaning of this? Lenneth, if you intend to defy the wishes of Odin, then are you prepared for his wrath? I will not say it again. Your duty is to find souls suitable to fight in Valhalla as warriors. Do not waste the time remaining to you. Yawn. <laughs> Big old yawn. Going back to sleep. Oh, it's another sacred phase? Okay, okay. Gosh, what, what, what chapter are we on? Ch uh, chapter... F yeah, look, we're going into chapter 5. We're already halfway done, done the game, guys. This is a short game. It has been a long time. Like our current situation is... A oh, let's see how bad you guys are doing in the war. You guys are doing by terribly. Oh my gosh, look at you guys. You guys are outnumbered tremendously. Our current situation is, if things do not improve, I am afraid we are doomed. Lenneth, about your perform- You must do better. The Lord Odin's wrath is a terrible thing to behold. Oh, she is mad. These are all the materialized points I can grant you at this time. That's a nice, that's a nice, nice, nice amount. Yeah, we don't care about your request at all. You know, we literally just are on our phone, scrolling through our <clears throat> Valkyrie Facebook feed. No, a, a Valkyrie book. You know, scrolling on our in Insta Valkyrie. You know, on our... I don't know what the Twitter equivalent would be of that, but... Oh, this too. We gotta insert this too. Hold on now. Hold on. Change this. This too. There we go. Gosh, look at that. We're just flying through this game. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Ah, this too. Chapter 5. Gosh, we're just flying through this. Anyway, let's see what our evaluation is. Zero. Our evaluation is zero. Let's enter this uh, dungeon now. See if Lenneth makes any sort of appearance when we come back out. Surely she's not going to be happy about it, about this, you know? She, she can't be. Oh, she's mad. My Lady Freya, I think you understand now. It is unfortunate, Lenneth, but something has gone wrong inside you, and we have no time to repair a faulty machine. The least I can do is put you into divine sleep by my own hand. Okay. Battle against Freya. Come to me, dark warriors. Battle awaits us. Or oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. So yeah, if 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 she gets mad at you, it's time to fight her, and there is no way to win. There's no way to win, and as you can see, Valkyrie died, and it says limit three up there. That's three turns until. You ha- Valkyrie has to be alive. So you have to either re revive her, so... You know, I mean, you know. There's no point in, in, in reviving her. We literally... As you can see, in one, one damage. Ha! 
Fourteen thousand damage. Can you withstand this? Prepare to be cleansed. Oh no. Oh my gosh, how much is this going to do to Arngrim? Oh no, poor Arngrim. Ether strike. 116,000 damage. Damn, it can't be. Okay, there's our unit. Wiped out. Yeah, there is no way to win. And if you do manage to use like a cheat code, like a like a game shark cheat code in order to actually win, it doesn't actually really do anything because you get the same dialogue afterwards. Let's take a look. The primary ego, Lenith, has been sealed off. The secondary ego, Hrist, has been placed in Valkyrie's astral body and is ready to be awakened. I see. I suppose there was no choice. I'm concerned about her past history with Brahms. You're referring to Silmeria, eh? Hmm. It may indeed prove troublesome. But now is not the time to worry about it. Very well. I will begin the awakening ceremony. Hmm, so yeah, ending C is just a game over, but we get some names there that we have not really heard before. We kind of heard Brahms at one point. We, we did hear the name Brahms when Lenneth kind of mentioned it during battle. We didn't hear, we'd never heard Silmeria, nor did we ever hear Hrist. So apparently, you know, it says the primary ego, Lenneth, is now asleep. And they're going to bring the secondary ego, Hrist. Huh. I wonder if we're going to know more about that later, but... Yeah, so that was the ending C. That's what I wanted, wanted to actually show off there. So as you can see, I can I I, I saved right right before that. I'm going to have to insert disc disc one now. There we go. Okay. So yeah, we're <laughs> we're back at chapter one at the very very beginning. So I guess next time. We're going to actually get into the actual real first chapter here. Do uh, do some actual um, s proper stuff instead of sleeping all the time. You know, and actually recruit some more characters and do things the way that we were intended to do them. So, yeah, I will see you next time on Valkyrie Profile.